Phase works out. I want to see the influence of Poppy on Chen. It's uh, always a pleasure to watch him play. There's another two jumps available here for the Ricky. He's got a time at Ride as Matumba. Just lets the blood ride out, and they have done enough damage. First blood goes to Crystallize, and that's exactly what Na'Vi needed. Really obvious that what Chen is doing is hunting couriers. So it's understandable, but it obviously sucks a bit for him to just be completely stranded. If Chen is there helping him, they, they can't get that kill. Bottom lane, Slayer yeah. will die. Very much, much underneath the tier okay. 1 tower. Asha can't do much more. At least he's able to get the disarm over on Zai. In fact, maybe he can even kill off Zai. Mm, pro probably not when she's enough. now going to die and actually break those conditions. Slayer, try and make a break for the tree line. Can someone please deny me? Nope. Fade Bolt. Gonna be there from the Rubik. Yep, so yep, gonna yep. Or at least the harassment. Yep, so can feel strong enough to die to the two supports. To pick up oh, the throw down, Matumba actually goes down to crystallize, and Yapsaw pulled back in with the Sinister Gaze. So his rotation can't help out either. Magical is moving around inside the Radiant Jungle Secret. Now she smoked the opposite direction. They decided to walk over three wards, uh, two sentries and observer that got planned down by Na'Vi. That definitely wasn't intentional. And Courier just knocked oh, up by Nisha for the Puffy. big stomp from Poppy, catching Pasha out. So no damage. And they look to push yeah. the tier one tower on bottom lane. Yeah, this is a bit risky. I actually don't think they should do it. Um, because uh, Arena's down, Sonic Wave is down. In fact, Queen of Pain isn't even there. Quartz now the Aegis jump forward, down. Pango can yeah. slay her. As she gets the slow over on Poppy, this would be quite nice for him. Rubik steals the Nova, returns it over on three heroes. The Arena will go to work, but tricks the trade from Crystallize. He just bounced himself back out after killing off Puppy. In fact, it was Magical who got the kill. They want to go for the next target, and they got the jump forward available, but. Supporter rise from Team Secret with a jump forward. Sonic Wave still on cooldown, but Magical, he'll have to let this BKB go, but speared up against the walls. So much damage into him. He's already dropped down. The ruptures out. Crystal Maiden will let it go, but Rubik will now let it go just as hard onto each other. Rubik will actually go down to Slayer and vice versa. Matumbaman is at full speed, and Na'Vi, they're almost all dead. Lich completes the TP, barely. Matsu's BKB, really... this kill is not happening. They're trying to set it up. <laughs> This is not happening. You're right, like, you can't even chain stun him. He's not near, like, multiple cliffs. The Team Secret Smoke's probably going to catch out the Lich. He's in middle lane, so yeah, blink forward into the Orchid. That's going to be a quick kill over on Lich. Meanwhile, up on the top lane, they're starting on Matamba. BKB, that's the nine second one being burnt. The same with the Rolling Thunder. We can wait for the next Aegis get Aegis and Cheese, plus the Queen of Pink Courier respawn for the Shiva's Guard. Mm -hmm. And then possibly look to high ground. It's not even a requirement. Like, if you just dominate in map control, you will always have the extra hero. Okay, Queen Another of Pain onto Ricky. Yep, uh, looking for the kill, and they've got him. Death for 50 seconds, a buyback force would be huge. Where's that repair kit? Has it come out yet? Do they not have yet. one? Yeah, both, oh, sides, picked, they both sides picked up a repair kit. But it's not, uh, it's not in anyone's inventory yet for the dire side. That's not good. No, especially when Crystal Maiden gets picked up, thrown back down again. That Fate of Broach won't yeah. be able to uh, protect what you. What's going on? It's a very good question, Sin. That's why I normally ask an analyst that. But a melee rack is just well, being I, wrecked apart. There's no contest this for this. kind of TP than I am, so I figured you could tell me. This looks <laughs> like something you might have experience with. <laughs> this is three, this is three K. Is what you're trying to say <laughs> in the nicest possible way? <laughs> Movement out here from Navi. Smoke gank up. Raps Yapsaw gonna be the uh, big target. Zion, that's a really good silence, but then he's just gonna BKB it and slay a BKB and he'll let his own ulti go off. Rubik cops a lot of damage from that inside the ghost setup, but he still is end up able to seal the freezing field. Can't get it off, however. Chris Lice will be there, but he's also ruptured. He needs to TP right now for the Bastia. Matumba just stays on top of him. A quick trick to the trade. Maybe they got the return damage. No, Matumba has got Jesus. Oh, Chris Lice, he walked the last inch to actually die to the Bloodseeker. Pangalier, it's a good swashbuckle away to then blink out to safety. Queen of Pain wants to stick with them. Pango's he's got another swashbuckle in one trouble. second time, and this is uh, rough. Oh, he's trying to play out Duke it, but he's in range. The screen will be able to connect. There will be 20 seconds on the summon from Chen, so Secret will not be fully... not be at full power here. Oh, he buys... he has Boots of Travel, I forgot. Never mind. It's... <laughs> yep, sorry. He has an yeah, item he's, for he's, that. he's always got money. Oh, they've already got the kill as well, Nisha, claiming Ilias' life. 
And Shadow Fiend now has to BKB or else that Blood Rite is going to destroy him. Still haven't seen a Requiem of Souls. Actually, I don't think at all. And maybe they have to let one go out now under the Arena of Blood. But you break the Aegis Immortal on the Queen of Pain. But what else are you going to break? Well, you break Na'Vi's back. They're pinned down. SF's dead. No buybacks in either of the cores. And that is GG. We were waiting for something. And it just seems the victory of Game 1 for Secret was that something. It was... That felt so simple for Secret. I want to see uh, Na'Vi in the second game take some more initiative. It's just, you've got three different methods of huge AoE control. The Arena, the Coil, and the Coddle Alt. Na'Vi have Rolling Thunder. And that <laughs> is just not enough to, to beat Secret here. They're keeping their distance, so Paralyzing Cask unable to bounce. Maldick will connect, and in fact, man, Matumba, yeah, she jumps on to Slayer. Have they got enough damage just for that last point of the Maledic tick? And uh, underneath the tower, yep, they do. Slayer. Easy combination of 101, and they get the kill on the safe lane Matumba. I, I love that Navi are playing this this aggressive. Oh, Puppy almost got Slayer there, actually. Uh, they're playing it very aggressively, and they're identifying that, you know, Caudal PA right now don't pose much of a threat. So you can take the initiative. Maybe Pasha got a little bit too greedy there. That's going to cost him. He might even die. Charges. Slayer's hung around, so he can... He's dead. Oof. He is. Having to throw the orb button. Very, very heavy dis uh, vision of the uh, creep wave in mid. I do see a smoke from Puppy. So Puppy's come down to put down maybe a fresh observer and sentry of their own. A magical. Staying on top of Nisha, you'll lose Rubik on the bottom lane. Despite Morph having good farm, I think if you're Mars here, you're happy. You're actually still neck and neck with Morph on CS, so that's really good. But, oh, he got level 6. They were not ready for that one. Yep, the reader comes down from Zai and Crystallize. Oh, now he doesn't really show he can he can survive through all of this. That that's is definitely not, a not great. And now Zai is going to get ready to try and do his own fight. Poppy, Blinding Light, pushing them back. Pasha, able to get the damage to the disarm. Just one last scream from Magical will do the work. Zai, remember, he's got Arena, Arena of Blood already back up again. Ready to fight. Looking to lock in the Queen of Pain, pinning her up against the wall with a spear. Rolling Thunder coming in from Pasha, creating more space for Magical. Had one charge as well as the infused raindrops to give him the cover. Yapsaw goes down. Trading his life for Coddle is awful. <laughs> he really doesn't want to do that. Especially a Coddle who's already zero for three. But they'll three man That's smoke a, yeah, up. They're hunting Phantom Assassin, trying to hide inside of a blur and farm up Ancients. But the rolling Thunder Pango got to hit the right timing. And with a Thunder Shield Crash in and Disrupt a Storm. You ask for them to control up Matoma. That's exactly what you got. And an Ironwood Tree just for good measure. Huck wants to get something of her own. Sonic Wave available, Glimpse, Yapsaw, get the hell out of here. He stole Shadow Strike, and they're trying to bring in more players. A quick jump away from Puck, but the Sonic Wave will connect. Now it's two cores going the way of Na'Vi. Helps him kill the Caudal ult as well if he mantis off the Blaining Light. It's, it's Great it's aggressive solid. vision. They're on Mount Mount won't connect. They're going to go in the Rolling Thunder. See Mars beginning his TP in, but that's a great storm catching Zai on the end of his TP. They're actually going to glimpse him away just in case. But Rubik will arrive for the Paralyzing, paralyzing Cast, catching Morphling for the moment. Same with the Willow Wisp. Queen of Pain having to wait out the Dream Coil before she can blink out. They're trying to push her away with everything they've got, and they're able to do so. So they have naturally more map control right now. Posh. Rolling oh. Thunder. Zai. He's gonna Oops. come down. You got the Mountain League as well as the Death Ward. Defensive Yule Scepter up towards the edge. Zai will hit the ground. He's still inside of the arena. Is that enough damage to kill him with the high level of Maledict? It's all four levels up, and Zai will pop from the last trigger. Puppy Bunny lining them back. A little bit of trouble for Pangalia. Caught with a Spirit Vessel and inside the leash of Nisha. Nisha. Nisha already on the hunt for more. Yeah, they wanna they wanna chase down this Pango right now. Matsu gave up on his ancient camp to push out the wave. Making this gank a little less obvious because now PA is not a part of it. Oh my god, they got Morph instead. That's even better. Or did my they? Oh god. He's trying to they do his own him. fight. Puck is hit by the Adapter Strike and Morphling still alive to fight another day. Paralyzing Cast. Need the Malady to come into. It did connect over on the Puck, but he won't live long enough to have more than half a second duration on that Death Ward. Like he's going to farm up this camp and actually have the Manta. They would have slowed him down by a little bit more. PA then... is moving over. <laughs> Are we going to see a repeat of the last game? Oh boy, he will die here. Yeah, he Ultimate being purchased. It's coming in. They're trying to deliver the Manda Silent. It will come in the middle of the fight, but he's caught inside the arena and on the edge of the wall. Queen of Pain as well, not looking too happy. Can blink out of it. The Essence Ring gave a little bit of extra life. Defensive Yule Scepter underneath the Tier 3 Towers and Team Secret. Man, really looking to dive. Matumba with the BKB reveal. Already has himself a double kill.
the icing on the cake that it's more if they find their farming. Uh, probably what they expected, to be honest, just given the layout of the map and Morph being missing. Like, where else would he be farming right now? Is what they're. The Necro books are scouting. They get that kill. Blink up from Nisha. He's already getting aggressive, trying to buy space from Matumba to finish the job. Puck's got the haste rune, so she can get back pretty quickly, not to mention the spirit vessels. Pasha already going into the Rolling Thunder. Roshan down very, very low, 400 HP, Rolling Thunder around. Pasha trying to keep the stun over, and Morphling will wave for him. And who's going to get Roshan? The blind line push it back from a tumba. He gets the Aegis Immortal and the kill on Roshan, costing Pasha his life. The Adaptive Strike can at least claim that Aegis Immortal back, as Wish Doctor tries to get a little bit more space of his own, but that won't happen. And us end up giving more and more charges. And when Morph waveformed in, he did an Adaptive Strike burst. That could have been a kill on Matu, and maybe they could have got the Roche. Did he have cooldown? I mean, I don't know. That just I It wouldn't make any it sense out. to have it on cooldown beforehand. Uh, unless um, he used just to nuke someone in the river or a creep camp right before. But whatever that was, I didn't see it at um, least. Uh, is he going to find career. him? Using the courier to scout. Another quick waveform. Chris, I'd say, I got to kill this courier. It sees too much. It knows too much. Did he get instant blinder when he waveformed in right before he could even adaptive? Because that's that's really hard to do with a level, I think, at the time level 2 blinding light. But it might have been. Yours pick up. I don't have your answers for you, Sin. Sorry. Queen of Pain's going to go down. No Ooh, way to escape know. the Dream Coil, even with the Essence Ring. She's going to try and Sonic Wave and battle as long as she can. But still dead for 50 seconds and Pasha rolling thundering himself away to safety without mm -hmm. any sort of info they don't have a natural way of finding information with their lineup they don't even need like scouts like hawk or wolves or whatever they're gonna kill oh, chris yeah, lies. instead yeah so has the grab range and that's what chris lies wasn't ready for and chris lies might already be tilted he tried to adapt to strike matumba before and he just blur dodged it in front of him they just go high ground very easy for secret Dessos, Bashers, all the team fight control. No big ulties have to be committed for this, but I suppose we'll probably dip burn the Willow Wisp. But you've still got Arena, you've still got Duel and Zai is threatening it. Blinking forward like this. Pangolier, he's going to go into his rolling thunder. They do get the control on, on Matumba, but he just BKBs, jumps in, kills off the Witch Doctor. He'll have to buy it back if they want to keep this mid racks alive. Matumba's BKB is wearing off, and you get the double hit. Oh from Marsha, only one on the disarm, but better luck here from Matumba. Gets the bash on the dagger. Now the arena will arrive, and Queen of Pain locked on the wall. Push through Matumba, staying right on top of Magical, but now he doesn't have immunity. Now he needs a little extra help to get out. The glimpse will pull him all the way back inside the base. Needs another jump available, but does not have it. Finally, the streak is ended. Slayer is the one to claim it with the Death Ward. So much negative armor, so much to work with. Fun Dagon's for Puck. He's gone for the full five. I think Chris Size is feeling a little left out. Now he's gone out for a smoke break, but he wasn't included. But they're going to try and fight on bottom. Oh, Puck oh actually jumps God. into the middle of him, and then the arena from Zai. He'll catch up three. Then Puck can get the Dream Coil out. Wish Doctor can't fight this one. He's sitting inside the Ghost Scepter. At least you get the Storm done. But my God, Team Secret, all the items they needed, ready to take that fight. And Nisha, the aggressive blink into phase shift. Navi were not expecting that. And Nisha properly wasn't expecting it either. Your PA is still hits, hits that perfect timing and do all the damage in the world. And there's no control you've got against it. Like, BKB and Abyssal Blade, any target that Matumba goes on will die. They'll glimpse him back. Are you going to try and... Well, it's, there's no point to storm unless the BKB is on cooldown. And now, you also have to forward. Zai going to use his own BKB and just spearing him back into Yapsaw's pickup of Telekinesis while Puck controls everyone else. The Sonic Wave completely whiffs as he just hides inside the face shift niche just a little bit longer. And it's like Navi can't get anything while Matumba looks to take everything they've got. Zai, well, he doesn't grab anyone inside of the arena. But he keeps Navi inside their own base as deep as they can go. And GG is called. It looks like the trend shall continue. All games in the playoffs chalking up at a 2-0.